We're gonna make a savory apple tart. This is not a dessert, this is not sweet, this is not an apple pie. This could be your dinner. Think cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, obviously baked apples, and rosemary. It's delicious, you're gonna love it. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. So we're gonna start with our onions because it takes a long time to extract all the sweetness out of them. And also, if we cut the apples now, they could turn brown, and that's no good for the gram. Let's go in half through the pole here. It's always important to wear protection, kids. <sighs> we're gonna use our hand right here as a sort of guide and just try to get some thin-ish pieces. Oh man, it's coming through anyway. Ah, uh, This is not working. This is not working at all. <sighs> Onion gets me every time. Can't win. Take about two tablespoons of butter. We'll add a little oil to this. I'm just trying to get the onions to sort of like be coated in fat all the way around. We're gonna add a little salt. That's gonna draw some moisture out here. So there's like two things that are happening here. One, we're reducing the moisture inside of the onions. And the other thing is accentuating the sugars within them. So we're looking for the ultimate companion in flavor to our apple. And you can't really rush this step a whole lot. We're looking for brownness, but we're not looking for burn. This takes a while. Let's make our filling. We're gonna start with some sour cream. Could we stop here? Absolutely. But we can also jazz this up a little bit with the package drawer. How about a little bit of mustard and honey? This way we get some zing, and a little bit of honey so we can get some sweetness, right? A Little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and essentially we have like the world's fastest tart sauce. You know, you wanna check on these onions every like two, three minutes. Some browning is okay. But overall, we want a slow reduction and accentuation of the sugars inside of the onions. Let's move on to the puff pastry, which of course is the vehicle for our savory tart. So here's the deal with puff pastry. Do you want it cold but not frozen? And that's why I think like a full day in the refrigerator spa will get it to exactly the position that you need to roll it out. I'm just gonna roll it from the center, kind of going out. And I'm even like taking my other hand here and kind of stretching at the same time. If I can have it slightly thinner, I'm increasing the acreage on which I can plant many shrubberies. We'll crack an egg right into a bowl. We're gonna use an egg wash for a little glue. Hey, if you don't have an egg, don't worry about it. Couple fingers here, and we're just gonna paint around the edge. This is gonna help it glue and aid in some puffing. Just tighten up these edges a little bit. Let's lay down our sour cream that we jazzed up just a little bit with some package or mustard and honey. Check out my onions. I sort of neglected them for a second and they're getting like too burned around the edges. I could just add a tiny bit of water here and that's gonna drop the temperature, softens the onions and sort of gives me more time. All right, the star of the show, the apple. Uh, I'm gonna use a pink lady here. It's a little sturdy, it's certainly tart and it's not gonna fall apart when it cooks. I like to come just to the side of the core and then do a 90 degree turn and again, and again, and again. Now from here, make a flat side and just look to get some consistently, not too thin, not too thick slices. Same deal, straight down and straight down. Sweet and delicious. Check out our onions. What has happened? You can give it a taste right here. Mm. It's soft. It's sugary, it's got a little bit of savoriness, but the number one thing is this is gonna interplay with the tartness of the apple so, so well. That's what it's all about. And now the interplay of cheddar and apple. Ooh. If you're new to the show, I highly recommend you buy all your cheeses in block form because that way you're not paying the man to slice it for you. And that means you're saving money. We're gonna lay out our apples here, all right? This is perhaps the most time consuming step in making a tart, but remember tarts are so much faster than pies. So we've already saved so much time. We're gonna have a little bit of melted butter here. So I'm just going to drizzle this atop the apples so that as they cook, they are elevated to a new state of metamorphosis. We could put this right into the oven, but I think a pop of color and just a little more flavor might be the bee's knees. So let me introduce you to the struggle herb garden. I grow my herbs. I pay once, they continue to grow. You should do the same. Come back to our egg wash here, hit the sides. This is just gonna give it a nice little bit of browning. Let's throw this beauty in the oven, 20 to 25 minutes until it has puffed up and it becomes slightly golden brown. Tarts out of the oven. We're gonna finish it with a little bit of parsley, whole leaves. As a dinner portion, we're gonna get four servings out of this and damn, does it look good. Oh, that was so good. 
$1.43 a serving. Apples are the centerpiece here. They're interplaying with sour cream jazzed up with the packet drawer, cheddar, and a little bit of caramelized onion, which makes this a filling dinner meal. It might look petite on the plate, but I promise you, it's dense in the most satiating way. It's like making a pie, but with a lot less work, and you can have it for dinner time instead of dessert.